Hello everyone, this is Catherine from In The Pink Designs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and all the supplies I use today you can purchase through, from Stampin' Up! through me at the address at the top of the screen. My project today is a pretty large, this is meant to be a, a, a gift, not just a little treat box. Um, it measures three and a half by two and a half by four inches high at the back. Um, and I have in here a pair of Snoopy socks, some Tic Tacs, and a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. But a lot more um, could be tucked in here if you want to. And I just put some shred. Um, but I thought this was a really cute little way to give a gift or maybe to boo someone and leave it outside or on their desk or something like that. Um, I used the Clever Cat stamp set along with the cute Halloween designer series paper. Some cute stars adhesive back sequins. Um, what else? Oh, the layering circle dies and some pumpkin pie and basic black card stocks. I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to do the box black this time and the uh, mats. We're going to do pumpkin pie just to see how it would look differently. Alrighty, so what we need for this project is a piece of basic black or you can do it in the pumpkin pie that is nine by eight and a half. We need some uh, basic white for stamping. We need a basic white um, circle that is from the layering circle dies that is about two and three eighths and a scallop circle out of pumpkin pie that is two and a half. Okay, so we need a bunch of the DSP and I used three different patterns in the same pack. Alrighty, so we need one piece um, for the front here that is three by two and two pieces for the inside sides that are three and three quarters by two and three eighths, two more that are the same size, three and three quarters by two and three eighths for the outside sides and one piece that is three by three and a half for the inside. Okay. And then we need some mats that this time we're going to switch it up and they're going to be pumpkin pie. One that is two and a quarter by three and a quarter and one that is three and a quarter by three and three quarters this way. Alrighty. I will have all of this um, on my blog and I will say which for each side, I will put polka dot stripes and haunted houses so that it's easier for you to figure out what's what. You don't, of course, you don't have to do this in a Halloween theme or in the same stamp set or um, holiday that I did. But I thought this was a cute little standing gift for someone. Okay, so let's start with our nine by eight and a half inch piece of basic black cardstock and our Simply Score. And we're going to start on the nine inch side and we're going to score at two and a half and five. Okay, I'm going to turn it whoops, to the eight inch side and we're going to score it at two and a half and six. Okay, and that's it. And I'm going to fold and burnish. All right. So how we're going to have this sit is there is, I think it's, yeah, a two and a half strip of, of rectangles here and here. So there's two two and a half strips are going to be on our left hand side and the four inch pieces, yeah, four inch pieces are going to be on our right. And this is what we're going to do. Don't worry about these slants. We're not going to do those until we, we're going to put it all, put it all together and then we're going to cut the slant. So we don't have to worry about doing that now and we don't have to worry about cutting our DSP. We put it all on and then we cut it. 
All right, so you don't have to worry about this right now, just this. All we're gonna do is cut this, this is actually a square, I guess. This square and this rectangle side straight, and then, and I forgot to cut this one short on my, on my template here. Okay, and we're going to treat this middle one um, like a square, and we're going to wedge the center square and make it shorter, okay? So, now with your four inch pieces on the right hand side, okay, we're gonna start on the left hand side and we're gonna cut this square here, we're gonna cut it to the first score line straight, skip this square and go over to this rectangle and cut the rectangle side straight. And then we're going to wedge both sides of this one piece in the middle. And cut about a third of it off. Okay. Now we're gonna turn it 180 so that the four inch pieces are on the left. All right, we're gonna go start from the right hand side Go in one score line and cut it up to the first score line. Move to the other side of this square and cut the side of this rectangle straight to the first score line. And then we're going to wedge both sides of the middle piece and cut about a third of it off. And this is what your cardstock should look like after you've scored it and cut it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to put tear and tape on these two tabs here. I'm gonna put one close to the score line and one at the edge on both of them. Okay, and we're gonna attach these to the bigger side. All right, so this line on the side of this rectangle and the, the score line on the tab are going to be matched. Okay, and the same thing on the other side, this line right here and the side of the rectangle are going to fit to each other. Okay, and that's what we have. All righty, now we're going to put some tear and tape on these two sides here. And I'm gonna put one on this side, one on this side, and a little piece right here because I want it to make sure that it doesn't gap at the top or the back. I'm just gonna do it the same on both sides. You could also use liquid glue and then you wouldn't have to worry about it gapping anywhere. Alrighty. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make that sure that this side and this side match with the back and the bottom. Okay, just like this. And I'm going to take the backing off of both because it gets a little bit hard when this is up like that to peel it off. All right. And then we're what we're going to do is make sure that the side and the back right here and right here match up. And the same on the other side. The bottom and the back are gonna match. Okay, and that's that for now. All right, now we need our DSP and our cardstock mats. All right, so let's start with the cardstock first. And we're gonna put our piece of pumpkin pie cardstock that is three and a quarter by two and a quarter, right on the front like this. I'm gonna use liquid glue. Okay, and then our piece that is three and one quarter by three and three quarters inside. 
Okay, and then our piece of the polka dotted DSP that is three by two goes on top of this, right like that. Okay, and our piece of the haunted house piece that is, oh, did I write it? I did, but I can't see it. Oh, three by three and a half, and that's going to go right in there with the cardstock. Okay, now we're on to the sides, and the two outside pieces right here, and I made these a little bit larger because this tends to stick out a little bit just because it's folded over two other pieces. All right, so these are three and three quarters by two and three eighths. All right, and these go on the outside sides. Okay, and then two more of the same size of the polka dots that are three and three quarter by two and three eighths for the inside sides. And you don't have to do the insides of this if you don't want to. If you're gonna really fill it up, nobody would probably see it. But it's also pretty cute just standing there by itself. Okay, and you can also put one on the back if you want to. I didn't do that. Let's just let that dry a minute and we're gonna do some stamping. We need our basic white and our tuxedo black ink, some so saffron ink and some cinnamon cider ink. All right, so we'll do the cat and this is all from Clever Cats. I'm gonna do the cat and we need our mat because this cat comes out a little bit harder. If you ever have a problem getting it all down, just use a little wink of Stella and it'll spread it around. Okay, let me do them this way. Good. All right. And now we're gonna do the broom. Okay, I'm gonna do, I need a um, baby wipe or you can use your chamois for this. First we're gonna do yeah, first we're gonna do the stem, the, uh, the broomstick, the stem, goodness. And I'm just going to ink from the band back. All right, and then I'm just gonna wipe that off. And I'm just gonna put it a little bit on some paper to dry it a second, okay. And now we need our so saffron ink. All right, and then we're gonna try to just get from the band up. All right, and then just, excuse my head if it's in the way, and then just gauge by the stamping that's already down, and there you go. All right, and unfortunately these two have to be fussy cut. But I already got them fussy cut out so that you don't have to wait for me for that. All right, and now we need our circle, basic white circle that is two and three eighths, and our sentiment, which says, my tail says it's the twitching hour. And you wanna put it as close to the bottom and the left as you can get it. silicone mat. Oops. Okay. Now, the broom is going to go right over the words, and how I judged it is the end, the top of the broom is going to be just shy of where the circle ends, over here. Okay, so I'm just going to put some glue on here. You don't need it on the very end of the broom. All right, 
and just have it just above the wording. And just push it down. Alright, and then the cat is going to sit with its tail next to the words, okay? But I'm going to put, uh, you can just glue it down if you want, but I'm going to put some dimensionals for this. I'm going to need a half. I'm going to use a side for the tail. And then I'm just going to put two, oops. And then I'm just going to have him sit right on top of the broom. Make sure that you don't cover up the words, though. Okay. And then we're going to we're going to attach this to our scalloped circle. That's pumpkin pie. Let that dry a minute and while we're letting that dry we're going to bring our box back in and what I want you to do maybe with a little bit longer scissors is position your your scissors right at the bottom where the front is here on the side but have it touch the top of this front all right and then point your scissors right at this point right here whoop you can't see me point your scissors right to this edge of the where the, the side and the top meet, all the way at the, the top, the back meet, all the way at the top, and then just cut. See? Doesn't have to be perfect. See, I'm like about a sixteenth of an inch off, but that's fine. I don't I don't mind that. And then do the same thing. I can't cut with my other hand. So I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna start at the top here corner and shoot for right there next to where the side comes in, the front comes in, I'm sorry. Oops, there we go. Okay, this one I kind of mangled a little bit, but that's all right, there we go, it's just a little bit. My scissors, these are, I should have just stuck with my smaller ones, it's easy to direct. But it's fine. See, I just had a little bit stick up. Alrighty. And that's how you get the sides nice like that. And you don't have to worry about um, redoing your, trying to figure out how to get your uh, DSP that way too. Alright, now we can put our embellishment on the front and I did that with liquid glue and I had about let's see how much did I have sticking up <laughs> I had about it about three eighths but whatever you whatever you feel is I just did it the wrong way <laughs> Whatever you feel looks right to you, but I did it about with about three eighths inch sticking up. Just above his eyes, basically, is where I... Okay, and just make sure that you make sure both sides are good. Okay, now... I put, I took some of our glittered organdy ribbon and I tied a little bow. Okay, and then I'm just going to clip it off. Is this small enough? Yeah, that's good. Alrighty. And I'm just going to take a glue dot and put that right above the cat on the left side. Okay. 
right onto the circle. Not quite on the head. Okay. And then for the final touch, I'm going to take the cute stars adhesive backed sequins. I'm going to switch my pointed end to the spatula. And I'm going to put three black ones. Oops. One right here. A smaller one. Oops. Up here by the broom. And another large one over here up a little higher. And really give these a squeeze because they tend to pop back off if you don't get them well. Alrighty, and then what I just put in it, I showed you the goodies I put in it, but to just make it look nice, I have some extra shredded craft paper from something I got in the mail. Probably makeup. <laughs> That's usually what they put all this stuff in there with. And that's it. I'm not sure which one I like better. I think I do like the green, the um, black in the background better. Alrighty, that's it. Thank you so much. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I upload a video. Um, I hope that if you wanted any of the cling stamps that you took advantage of the cling stamp set sale yesterday and if you have any questions all of the measurements will be listed on my blog which is linked below along with my stampin up address to purchase and my contact information as i said below thank you so much for watching i appreciate the time you spend and i will see you next time bye